So this blog is from a few months ago. It's actually the middle of winter here, but um, we're just struggling to catch up with all the blogs, but now we're gonna try and do it. Yeah, so the last blog was all about the fun that we had in Parga and Two Rocks Bay, how the kids were exploring the caves, the beaches, we had a barbecue on the beach. This blog is all about how we left Two Rocks Bay a bit reluctantly and we headed down south to the South Ionian Seas. Yeah, on the way down to the South Ionian we stopped at Provesa to charge up our batteries. As we've been living on the boat for a while we've been getting the kids more involved in some of the jobs around the boat, some domestic chores. They get pocket money for doing it. It's something that I've always wanted to try and do when we lived back in England, but there's, there was never time. It was always just quicker to do it yourself. But I really wanted to start a new life here and just get the kids more involved in the whole daily routine. Yeah, so we heard that some of our good friends were coming out and they were going to charter a boat. And so we were really excited to go and meet up with them and perhaps sail with them. So we headed south, which meant going through the Lefkas Canal. It's quite a tricky place to get through. There's boats that are wanting to go both ways through the canal. It has silted up quite a bit, so it is quite shallow in areas that it doesn't tell you on the chart. So you've really got to have a little bit of local knowledge. And the bridge, the guy only opens it on the hour, every hour, and it's very precise. If you're coming from the north, which we were, you have to wait for a while you have to wait for the bridge to open and there's nowhere to moor up because it's too shallow at the sides so you have to kind of just hold yourself there and then when he finally opens it up you have to get through as quick as possible because he doesn't keep it open for very long because he's got to stop all the traffic that's getting on and off the island it is the only connection that left Carda has to the mainland so you wait the bridge opens and then it's like a mad dash to get through So we anchored off outside the harbour at Palairos. The next morning we got into our dinghy and we headed into the harbour. And we continued our boat training with um, the children, teaching them how to use the outboard engine. So we arrived at the Nielsen base in Vernaki. It's a new place, it's different to where we used to work, but it was really, it's a really nice resort. So we went to the marina to see if our friends had arrived and it brought back a lot of memories, the memories of when we used to work for Nielsen, when we were flotilla skippers. And it was actually turnaround day and it reminded us of those days where all the boats came back in and you have to get everything fixed and ready for the new guests to arrive. The turnaround day fixing, unblocking. <laughs> we couldn't believe it when we saw all the Nielsen boats in this lovely marina because we remember the days when they were um, at their other base and the boats were parked on the mud when they're not being used and there was just one pontoon. So it was great to see how it expanded and the beach looked brilliant. It was really nice chatting to the staff there and sharing some of our experiences when we used to work for Nielsen and it was really nice to hear from the staff about their experiences of working for Nielsen now. When we um, went to the marina to see if our friends had arrived, we realised that they were on a later flight. On that day, a lot of people are arriving or leaving. So it turns out that the beach was um, 
not that busy and um, the guests were busy getting their um, inductions and so forth. So we waited on the beach for them. The wind conditions were perfect and it was so it's great to get out on a wayfarer with the kids and not have to put on all our wetsuits and gloves and everything to keep warm. We're going sailing now. We took their kids off with ours so they could have a good time and so that the parents could unpack and get ready to set sail. When everyone was ready, we went back to our boat and so the next day we were all ready to go. We lifted our anchor and off we went with our friends Craig and Jamie and their children around the South Ionian. So this blog, oh, let's pause it a minute, we do. We finished in a minute, okay? members of NSC, NSSC, NSSC, I'll do that again, New Haven and Seaford Sailing Club. All right, start that all again. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so if you like these blogs, please like, follow, share on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. And if you want to donate something, then go on Patreon and you can find our page under Mothership Adrift. Thanks for watching. Bye.